the Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning session. I am Z. John Stanyu, your mathematics teacher. Let's begin this lesson by doing the correction for the, of the assignment we had in the last lesson. The question is, solve and represent on the number line the inequalities. 1. 5a minus 3 is greater than or equal to 12. 2. 3 minus 2x all over 4 is less than negative 1. Let's start with the first case. Last time, in the last uh, lesson, we said that when we are solving a linear inequality, we simply solve it as if it were a linear equation, except that we take note of the fact that if we multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a, post a negative number, the inequality sign is reversed or is changed. So in this case, we can add 3 to both sides. So 5, 5a minus 3 plus 3 is greater than or equal to 12 plus 3. Negative 3 plus 3 will be 0. So 5a is greater than or equal to 15. Now we divide both sides of the inequality by 5. When we divide here by 5, a will be greater than or equal to 3. We want to represent it now on the number line. So this, our numbers, this is 3. We recall that since this is greater than or equal to, it means that the circle is a closed circle. And all the values are greater than or equal to 3. So we have it like that. The second case is 3 minus 2x all over 4 is less than negative 1. The best approach, the first thing we do is to multiply both sides of the inequality by 4. If we do that, 3 minus 2x all over 4 times 4 will be less than negative 1 times 4. So 3 minus 2x, this 4 will divide with this 4. So 3 minus 2x is less than negative 4. We combine like terms. So negative 2x is less than, we bring 3 this way, we combine 3 with negative 4. So we will have negative 7. When we divide both sides of the inequality by negative 2, we will obtain x is greater than 3.5. Observe that we are dividing by a negative value, a negative number. So the inequality sign has been reversed. This is what we obtain. Let's now represent on the number line. So we go to 3.5. We have an open circle. And then the arrow goes to the right because x is greater than 
Just a recall that we are studying the module Algebra and Logic and we are currently studying the topic Equations and Inequations. We are, in this lesson, we are going to be doing solutions to absolute inequalities and inequalities of the form A is less than or equal to Mx plus plus or minus N less than or equal to B. After that, these are the other lessons that we are going to study under this topic. Again, the lesson that we are studying now is solutions to absolute inequalities and inequalities of the form A is less than or equal to Mx plus plus or minus N less than or equal to B. Here is the plan that we will follow for this lesson. We will start with the objectives of the lesson, then we will go to test the prerequisites and then we will have a problem situation. After that we will have learning activity and then we will go to application exercises and end with an assignment. What are the objectives of this lesson? By the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to find the range of values of x that satisfy, satisfies an absolute inequality or absolute inequalities. And the learners should also be able to solve double or three parts inequalities. But what are those concepts in mathematics that are important for us to master so that we can study this lesson effectively? The first one is that you should be able to solve and represent inequalities, uh, solve and graph inequalities in one unknown on a number line, and then also be able to solve absolute value equations. So let's Look at this. Solve the following simultaneous inequalities. So we have two inequalities linked by this word and. So we will solve this first linear inequality, solve this one, but we will combine all of them using the word and. Again, and means that that region or the interval which intersects. So here we can add, we will add 4 to both sides. So 5x is greater than 10. Then we can divide all through by 5. And x will be greater than 2. In this case, we subtract 6 from both sides since the 6 here is positive. So we have negative 2x is less than or equal to 1. We divide now both sides by negative 2. And since we are dividing by a negative number, the inequality sign will be reversed. So x is greater than or equal to negative half or negative 0 0.5. This is our inequality, the, the number line which we will represent these two inequalities there x is greater than 2. So we have an open circle and the arrow moves to the right. Next, we go to negative 0 0.5 or negative half. There we have a closed circle and x is greater than or equal to negative half. So the arrow also moves to the right. So this region is the area that intersects, that belongs to the two intervals. So effectively we are saying x is greater than negative, greater than 2. x is greater than 2. Okay. The second case, we have this, but the key word linking the two inequalities is all. So again, we will solve this. We will add 7 to both sides. So 4x is greater than 16. We divide both sides by positive 4. x will be greater than 4. We come here 
we subtract 7 from both sides. So negative 2x is greater than or equal to, when we subtract there, we have negative 4. We divide both sides by negative 2. So x is less than or equal to 2. So on our number line, we will have x is greater than 4. We have an empty circle and the arrow goes to the right. At 2, we have a closed circle. X is greater than, is less than or equal to 2. So the arrow goes to the left. So the inequality, the final inequality will just remain what we have here, these two. Solve the absolute value equations. Absolute value of x is equal to 5. Now, just to remind us of the fact that an absolute value of an expression is its positive value. The absolute value of a number is its unsigned value. So if I have the absolute value of x as 5, it means that x could be 5 or x can be negative 5. If x is 5, the sign will still, it will still be positive. If x is negative 5, the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. Then, so that's what we have. Then in the second case, we have the absolute value of x is equal to negative 3. Since the absolute value of a number cannot be negative, it means that here we have no solution. There's no solution. There is no number that its absolute value will instead be negative. The absolute value of x is equal to 0. It means that x should be equal to 0. Observe that 0, or recall that 0 is neither positive nor negative. So it's just 0. Then in this case, the absolute value of uh, 2x minus 5 is equal to 7. It means that 2x minus 5 is equal to 7 or 2x minus 5 is equal to negative 7. In this case, 2x is equal to 12 when we add 5 to both sides and x is equal to um, 6. In this case, we will add 5 to both sides 2x will be equal to negative 2 or an x will be equal to negative 1. Those are our two values. Okay. The problem situation. A, in a driving test, an apprentice is expected to drive forward and backward within a certain distance. And a Form 4 student called Tracy thinks that the distance covered by the car at any moment is given or could be obtained using this inequality. 9 minus n. The absolute value of 9 minus n is greater than or equal to 3. However, Tracy does not know how to calculate or how to get the range or the possible range of values of n. So how can we help Tracy solve such an inequality? So you will reflect on it and we will revisit the problem towards the end of the lesson and see how we can solve that. Let's look at our first learning activity. We want to take this three-part inequality. 5 is less than 2x minus 1 less than or equal to 9. We'll add 1 to all the three parts and simplify. Then next we'll divide all through by 2 and then we will represent the solution on the number line. So the first task, let's add 1 to all the three parts of, of the inequality and simplify. So we'll have 5 plus 1 is less than 2x minus 1 plus 1. 
is less than or equal to 9 plus 1. So 6 is less than 2x, which is less than or equal to 10. From here, we can divide now all through by 2. So when we divide all through by, divide all the three parts by 2 in this inequality, when we divide here, we will have 3 is less than x, less than or equal to 5. To represent this on the number line, we have an empty circle here and then a closed circle here. X is any value that is greater than 3, but less than or equal to 5. So that's it, we've represented on the number line. Let's look at or study, uh, go through the second learning activity. Consider the inequalities. The absolute value of x is less than 3. And secondly, the absolute value of x is greater than 3. First, we are expected to indicate on the number line the solution of the inequality or the equation. Uh, absolute value of x is equal to 3. Then we will verify on the number line the values of x that satisfy the inequality. Absolute value of x is less than 3. We will do that by completing this table. And then next, we will draw a conclusion about how we can solve absolute value inequalities of this form, where it is less than sign. Then the next one will be where we have a greater than sign. We'll also complete this table and then we'll draw a conclusion. And then after drawing the conclusion for the two cases, we will use the first concept to solve this inequality here. For absolute value of 4x plus 1 is less than or equal to 7. And then we will find a set of values of x that satisfy the three-part inequality that we have in 4. And then we will also draw a conclusion. So, let's have a look at this. We are expected to indicate on the number line the solution of the equation absolute value of x is equal to 3. We had seen earlier that the absolute value of 5 of x equal to 5 means that x is either 5 or negative 5. So the absolute value of x being equal to 3 means that either x is equal to negative 3 or it is equal to positive 3. So on the number line we simply have x equal to negative 3. We have it indicated with these dots. So now let's complete this table. The first column says for x less than negative 3. So let me just show you where these intervals are coming from. When we have these two values indicated, there is a region here. This, this place here is uh, x is less than negative 3. Then from in this region here, we have negative 3 is less than negative 3. So here is negative 3 is less than x less than 3 or we can say less than or equal to whichever but it, it is in this area and then here we will have x the values of x that are greater than 3 so that's where we have these values here okay let's take now a value or a number that is less than negative uh, 3 so if we take negative 6 the absolute value of negative 6 is going to be 6, is, is positive 6. And the question we will be asking is, is positive 6 less than 3? That is not true. It doesn't hold. The inequality sign will not be true. So it is not correct. It's not true. Let's take now a value in between negative 3 and 3. We can take 0. And we will be saying absolute value of 0. Is it less than or equal to, is it between this interval? In this case, we've taken negative 2, for example, which is also the same. We want to verify whether it is 
Absolute value of negative 2 is less than 3. First of all, absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. Is positive 2 less than 3? Yes. So the inequality sign is correct. Or the inequality there is correct. Let's take now a value greater than 3. We take 6. The absolute value of positive 6 is T6. But the question now is, is is, is it that absolute value greater than 3? Is it less than 3 rather? And we know that 6 is not less than 3. So it means that it is not, that inequality is not correct. So this is the only set of values of x that will satisfy this inequality. These other ones, it will not be true. It will not hold. So what can we conclude? We can conclude that if A is a positive number and the absolute value of A is less than A, of X is less than A, then negative A is less than X, less than A. So X will lie between negative A and positive A. This idea, this concept holds true if we have X, absolute value of X is less than or equal to a, we will have negative A is less than or equal to X, less than or equal to A. And in this case, our A was positive, greater than zero. Let's now examine the next case. In this case, we are using the greater than sign. So X is less than negative three. If we take negative, absolute value of negative six, it's going to give us six. And if we verify, 6 is greater than 3. So that is true. The inequality is correct. The next case, we take negative 2. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. Is 2 greater than 3? No. So it means this range of values will not work for that inequality. Absolute value of, three is greater, of x is greater than 3. The last case is a number greater than 3. If we take 6, the absolute value of 6 is 6, and it is greater than 3. So it is correct. So our conclusion is that if we have an absolute value inequality, like absolute value of x is greater than 3, then the range of values is x is less than the number given us. In this case, we have greater than a, so x will be less than negative a, or x is greater than a, that's positive a. And it works too for greater than or equal to. Then, let's use now that concept to solve this inequality. Absolute value of 4x plus 1 is less than or equal to 7. Here, Let's first use this example that we already we have already seen. The absolute value of x is less than or equal to a implies that negative a is less than or equal to x less than a. So if we write this one, this x can represent this. So we have x represents this one. Then this expression, we replace x by it. And then our a is 7. So we just come here, instead of negative a, we have negative 7. And then a is represented by 7, or is replaced by 7. Okay. So to solve it now, this is what we will have to solve. And to solve it, we add, we add uh, subtract 1 from both sides. It gives us negative 8 is less than or equal to 4x, less than or equal to 6. We divide all through by 2. We have this. And then we can represent on a number line if we are asked to. So our conclusion is that when the absolute value is less than or less than or equal to, then the values of x lie within the negative value of this constant here and its positive value. When it is greater than, they lie 
we have x less than the negative value and also x greater than the positive value. The same applies if the expression inside the absolute value signs is a linear expression. We do the same and then we solve. Okay, now we go to our application exercise. Exercises. Question 1. <clears throat> Solve each of the following inequalities. The first case is absolute value of x is less than 9. Now, observe that for the absolute value of x equal to 9, our solutions will be x equal to negative 9 or x equal to positive 9 because we said the absolute value of negative 9 is positive 9 the absolute value of 9 is t9 so now it is less than 9 so we are dealing with the case where the range of values will lie in the in between these two solutions so negative 9 is less than x less than 9. If you test with any value in this interval, it will all, its absolute value will always be less than 9. Let's go to the second case. Here we have the absolute value of a over 2 is less than or equal to 1. So, it is in the same format. So, we can write our inequality as negative a over 2 is less than or equal to sorry negative 1 is less than or equal to a over 2 less than or equal to 1 this is the integral but here we have to make sure we have a there so we multiply all through by 2 when we multiply a we have negative 2 is less than or equal to a because this 2 will multiply by 2. When we have a over 2 times 2, it will give us a is less than or equal to 2. So that is our solution for this one. Okay, solve each of the following inequalities. This first case. In this case, it is also with less than or equal to. So we have negative 4 is less than or equal to 3x minus 2 less than or equal to 4 we add 2 to both sides or throughout to the 3 parts when we add 2 here we have negative 2 is less than or equal to 3x we add 2 there we have 6 we divide all through by 3 so we have negative 2 over 3 is less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 in the next case, we have this, greater than 7. Observe that the inequality sign there is greater than. So we have y minus 3. It will be greater than, we will have a case where this expression is less than um, negative 7 or y minus 3 is greater than positive 7. In the first case, to solve this, y will be less than, we add 3 to both sides, we have negative 4. In the second case, we have y minus 3 is greater than 7. So y is greater than 10. This gives us the next solution. So now we want to examine the problem situation. The position of the car is, Tracy suggests that it should be this inequality. And we want to get the possible range of values of n. So since it's greater than, we say 9 minus n is less than negative, is less than or equal to negative 3 or 
9 minus n is greater than or equal to 3. In this case, we subtract 9 from both sides. So negative n is less than or equal to negative 12. We divide all through by negative 1. So n is greater than or equal to 12. The inequality sign is reversed. Here, negative n is greater than or equal to negative 6. When we subtract 9 from both sides, we divide all through by negative 1, or we multiply both sides by negative 1. So n is less than or equal to 6. So, to concretize what we have studied in this lesson, I will encourage that you take these questions and go through them, solve them. It will reinforce what you have studied. And then in the next lesson, we will do the correction and you will be able to reinforce what you have studied. In the next lesson, we will be studying solutions to quadratic inequalities. Una tege si matege yop, una tege minga matege nyum, una tege majang matege ndom, mane tambia niña ne injubia yen, ngani bana matege mot, ngani la kiri watege ndom, eserti na bia jinkido, mane tambia niña ne injubia yen, tam tam amote tam zabike. Tam tam a tonge tam zabike tam 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 a mote tam zabike mane tam bia niña ne injo bia yen.